This piece of ivy is showing a phenomenon known as etiolation, a process that you find in flowering plants. It's caused by the lack of light. Now the result of that is that the stem of the plant grows much longer than it normally would. You find that the distance between the leaves, the internode, is much greater. Also you normally find that the stems are weaker and the leaves smaller and often they are lacking in chlorophyll. This is a typically normal section of ivy. Now this process allows the plant, which, which if it finds itself in conditions of low light, to attempt to grow by extending itself towards a light source. Etiolation is caused by growth substances known as auxins, sometimes called plant hormones. They're responsible for controlling the extent to which a cell grows in length. These structures here are nothing to do with the process. These are adventitious roots, roots that you find growing on a stem are known as adventitious. Etiolation has its applications in horticulture as well. So here's a rhubarb forcing jar. Early in the season you would place the jar on top of a healthy rhubarb base and then leaving it in the dark to grow, it would develop with longer stems, a lighter colour, a different flavour, smaller leaves. Uh, this is done in an industrial scale in parts of England. These are flax seedlings growing amongst slug pellets. They're showing the process of de-etulation. That is, once the seed has germinated, then the structure above the ground starts to elongate dramatically due to light, again influenced by these auxins. And the plant extends upwards, curves towards the light, and also these green structures, which look like leaves, were actually food stores, uh, they start to develop the chlorophyll.